Hello everyone, this is D22 with you today from D22 Responses, and this is going to be a quick video just to show you how to customize your YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and go to our YouTube channel. Now, this is your standard setup. You have here your channel settings, your analytics, and your video manager. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pause that, because I don't want to hear my voice also during this time. Well, what are you doing right now? Shut up. Anyways, we're going to go to channel settings, and then we're going to give you a customization run through. So, if you are a YouTube partner or a network partner or some kind of partner, this is what you'll expect here. Now, you can go to where it says upload watch page channel icon and then you can upload a icon where it'll say watch page. Like for example, let's say you go to one of these pages here. Let's let's go for example, let's pick one of these if we can. This is just preview mode. So we're going to cancel that for now and then what we're going to do is just we're going to go to a video like this one here. We're going to open it in a new tab and then I'm going to show you what it's all about. Now you see this? You see this? You see this up here? This is what's called your watch page icon and this is what you necessarily upload to get that picture. So that is necessarily what we'll do. So we're going to close that and then you go back into your channel edit settings and then that's how you do it. You go back to where it says upload watch page icon and then that'll do. So, And then you enter your channel banner height which is maximum 150 pixels so that they can see all of it. And then what you can also do is you can enter image map code where you can go to imagemaps.com to map your images. And then you can also choose an avatar, about 800 by 800 pixels. You need to use a photo editor to make this sort of thing so that you can give your customized look on your channel. And you can also put in your background, maximum size 1 megabyte. And that's how you necessarily do it. For example, we can go to remove here and then what you can do is you can go to choose file and you can choose a picture. So that's what you can do. And then you can go to info and settings, change this title, change the description, put the tags in so people can find it. This advanced section is for tracking and conditional redirections and all that wonderful technical stuff. And then you can also set the overview, blogger, everything live broadcaster. So there's really nothing too hard about that. So that's my short tutorial on it. I hope this helped. And basically it's all up to you if you want to create your own stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Get Fueled for Life and have a wonderful day.